Hello learners, I welcome you to the studio of NIOS in the program of Library and Information Science at senior secondary level. Today our topic is Information Retrieval Systems and the subtopic for this is Search Techniques Basic and Advanced. How we will start the searching? Searching is an activity of looking carefully in order to find something. In Library Information Science, searching refers to looking through records thoroughly in order to find the required information. We have already discussed in our last lessons retrieval tools like catalogs, indexes for information retrieving. In this lesson, you will learn need and ways of searching organized information, fundamental aspects of search techniques for information retrieval from electronic resources. What are the objectives? for this lesson are that how you will define the search techniques, how you will explain organization of words in a dictionary, how you will use dictionary numeric classified techniques for arranging and retrieving library material and definition of search engines and you will be able to identify search process and design in search query. You will be able to define boolean logic, know the role of search operators, understand the type of search and define and explain and finally differentiate the field based and full text search with examples. Now we will be talking about search techniques. Search technique is a mechanism through which one can find relevant information from information systems. The information systems may be in-house or online. In-house information system is one where information is stored within the control of an organization or locally stored for retrieval purposes. Like we can store them in the library in CDs and um, DVDs. Then coming to the online information system is a system where electronic information store sources are stored remotely and are accessible through a communication mechanism. Now we are talking about the storage mechanism in-house information system and online information system are designed to store information, specialized information or information on a particular theme or subject. Such systems provide their own search mechanisms and a set of guidelines to find specific information. Examples for the storage mechanism and their role in information retrieval is we can arrange them in dictionary arrangement, numeric arrangement and classified arrangement. Now we coming to the dictionary arrangement. Dictionary arrangement means an arrangement where words are organized in alphabetical order of the language. Alphabetical order is the sequence based on the position of a particular alphabet in the script of the language. Now example for this will be like English language is using Roman alphabets and the order is A, B, C, D to Z. Here the alphabets a is in the first position and B is the second position. Likewise, it comes to Z at the 26th position in the sequence. Therefore, the words in the dictionary arrangement are organized as per the sequential position of the alphabets. Example for this can be action, NT, apple, art, catalog, classification and search. The first four words start with A. Their positions are fixed as per the position of the second and third and fourth letter. This is followed by another set of two words starting with C. Hence the words starting with C have been given the position after the words starting with A. Following this process, the words are organized in this arrangement and this mechanism of arrangement is followed for arranging entries in the catalogs. Now coming to the numeric arrangement. Numeric arrangement is the arrangement where the numbers are organized in ascending or in descending order. For example, we can say 123.45, 234.15 and 234.51 and 435.21 and 541. These are the numbers and but we are arranging them in the ascending order. Like from 100 it starts up to 500. You can find all the numbers that have same set of 5 digits that is from 1 to 5. But as per the numeric value, these are organized in ascending order and the sequence has been made. In libraries, those who follow the decimal classification system, you will find that books are arranged in numeric order on the shelves. This is the order we follow in most of the libraries. 
after this we are coming to the classified arrangement. Most of the libraries organize their books on the shelves as per the call number of the book. Call numbers are the combination of class number, book number and collection number. These three numbers may be numeric, alphanumeric as per the scheme followed by the library. Hence retrieving books from the shelves becomes easy when we understand the numeric, alphanumeric and classified arrangements. Examples for this are taken from the DDC scheme that we have arranged these numbers on the shelves like 321.4 uh, is a class number from political science and then uh, the RAM means is the author of the book means we are using it as a book number on the whole it becomes a call number then we reach to the 370.115095 like it, it the book is from education from India and then DM has the author three words of the author this is the whole thing is call number like that only we arrange them in the libraries from uh, 100 we start it and then particularly we subdivide them go on subdividing means 370 will be first then 371 then 371.3 and finally we arrange them likewise Another example of information retrieval following these arrangements is taken from book index. You might have noticed that almost all the books have an index in the end. The book index is a list of words, terms as per the page numbers on which those appear in the textbook. Everybody knows that there is an index in the end of the book where from we find the words and finally we reach to the page number of the book. That is also a way of retrieving information. Depending upon the size and nature of the book, the terms in the book index are organized either in dictionary or in classified order. If it's a small book, we can arrange it in dictionary, means A, B, C, D and otherwise we can arrange it in a classified order also. After understanding these arrangements, we will find a topic from the book easily. Naturally, if we are understanding what is classified and what is numeric and we can find the topics very easily from the uh, book index. What are the search engines? Search engines are searching information from the electronic or digital media in different from the print media and digital media. When information is stored in electronic or digital form, user interface is provided to find relevant information from the system. This user interface has provisions to accept keywords or terms representing required information to conduct the search. It brings the result of the search in the format defined in the software. The software which searches information from the information system is known as search engine. Hence we can define a search engine as a software meant for searching information from electronic or digital information domain on the basis of input given by the searcher that displays the result on the screen which is very user friendly format. Now what is basically user interface? User interface is the visual layout of the elements that a user might interact within a website. It includes like menu bar, toolbar, window buttons and many other controls where we can give you an example for this is Google search engine which everybody knows and has a common search. This is a very common search engine. This is the screenshot uh, of the Google engine and where we can search for the information. Normally this is the one we are using. Search engine, the input to the uh, search engine is known as search string whatever input we want to give for searching the information that is known as search string or a query. The query may be single term or a set of terms. The search engine searches information based on the query and provides a list of sources which match with the query. Whatever query or a, uh, search term you have put it will provide you a list of the sources. The list is displayed in the format which is designed for the search engine. Like we said the interface, different search engines have got their own interface. Depending upon the nature of the search engine, the list may contain brief description of the information sources or on the basis of which searcher may decide 
to access or to consult the full record or not. Uh, when it comes on the screen, you will finally decide whether you want to take up uh, this uh, search uh, information, whatever has come to it, or you want to go to the next step. Everybody must have searched on the online public access catalog that is opaque in your library or a Google search engine, which is commonly used. Now, we have given you a screenshot from the Jawaharlal Nehru University, their library catalog, which is online available and the address is also given. And in this, you can search normally their books, whatever library um, uh, database they have. These are the books available on their website. Now, we coming to the search process. Search process is a set of functions which are performed for searching the relevant information effectively. The process follows some basic steps to conduct search and get desired results. There are many steps which are followed for the search process. These are first step is that recognize the need of the state, then uh, development of search strategy, then execution of the search strategy, then we can say the review the search results and we can edit these search results and then we can evaluate and have the feedback also of these search results. What is the recognition of state the need? What is the basically need, how we have to recognize the need for the search? It's important for an information professional or searcher to understand the need and the purpose of a search. Information on any topic which may be needed for general knowledge, search and research and development or for any other purpose. After understanding the state of need and purpose of the search, the query statement should be developed. There should be an arrangement between the information seekers and the search requirements. This arrangement leads to the formulation of effective search strategy for relevant and effective result. The development of the search strategy includes conceptual formulation of query, translation of this conceptual formulation into the language of the keywords, then descriptors or the facets, then identification of the synonym and associated terms. After this, it's important to select the information domain to be searched. Like we can uh, find an opaque of a library, database or likewise, we can depending upon the requirements of your search strategy. The search string or a query is the combination of the terms, keywords or the descriptors which represent the information. A search string uh, contains vocabulary that is linguistic feature and their implication on the search and retrieval of the information which we have to analyze. Here are the three aspects uh, which are very important for the searching. That is syntactic value, the semantic value and the Boolean operators. These are the three aspects which are very important. Like uh, these three aspects, uh, syntactic, semantic and Boolean, we will be discussing them separately. Now we are coming to the syntactic value. Syntactic value is relating to arrangement of words in a sentence of search string deals with the kind of formula or connecting symbols through which keywords or the terms are connected to represent the concept to be searched by the search engine. Like the syntactic value, we will try to understand the syntactic value by giving these ex examples. There are two terms, say poetry and Indians, which are connected by two different connectors that is among and by. Each gives a different meaning as follows like poetry among Indians, which means what is the status of poetry among Indians or what is the approach of Indians towards the poetry. Then when we are using the term by, poetry by Indians means poetry composed by Indians. Now we coming to the Boolean operators. Boolean operators are simple words and or not used as conjunctions to combine or exclude keywords in a search. These are used to connect and define the relationship between the search terms. The use of these operators has an impact on the result which the system shows. Like in Boolean operator, 
or operator. Or operator allows the searcher to specify alternatives among the search terms. When a string is created using OR operator, the search engine retrieves all those resources where any of the term or keywords are connected with OR, where it exists. Then connection of two or more similar concepts broadens the result, telling the database that any of the search term can be present in the result. For example, if we create a search term string like student or education and search it, then the output of the search will be the list of the references of all those resources available in the system where student or the education exists, where we are using AND operator which combines the two or more terms. When a string is created using AND operator, the search engine retrieves all those resources where all the terms or keywords connected with AND exist. For example, we can say if we design a search string like student and education and then search it, then the output of the search will be the list of references all those resources where student and education both the terms exist. Then coming to the NOT operator. The NOT operator is used to exclude the term from a set of resources. For example, if we create a, string, a search string like student not education and the search then search it, then the result will be a list of references of all those resources available in the system where the term student exists but not education. This is the graphic presentation of the implications of your Boolean operators where we can say A uh, represents the students and B represents the education. This is the I mean representation of A and B which we have shown you. Now execution of the search strategy like in OPAC if we put a search query as Tagore Rabindar Nath and the search in author field then only those records will be received and retrieved and displayed from the database which have been authored by him like Rabindranath Tagore when we put in the author. We direct the same query into the title field then. Then those records will be displayed in which the Tagore Rabindranath appears in the title as the part of the title. This means that the references of the material written on the table Rabindranath Tagore will be listed in the result. Those where we have Rabindranath Tagore is in the title. This is an opaque and a screenshot from uh, Jawaharlal Nehru University, the library catalog where we have search uh, library uh, Rabindranath Tagore as uh, first in the title and then in the author. And these are the outputs we have received in the library catalog. This is the address is also written there, one can find it also. These are all uh, the screenshots of OPAC from JNU library. Now coming to the execution of the search strategy. Depending upon the need and the purpose of the search and expertise of the searcher, the search may be conducting using the features of the search engine. Hence a searcher should know the type of search and implications to get effective output. The type of searches are like how we will be executing the search strategy is field based search, then full text search, then the truncation search, proximity search, limiting search, range search, simple search and advanced search. Like we will talk about now the field based search. The search conducted on a particular field of a database to get required information is termed as field based search. As you know, the complete information of catalog is stored in different fields in a bibliographic database. If you wish to search an author, direct the search engine to author field or if you wish to search through title or subject, direct the search engine to title or subject field. If we are putting Sain Amrita is searched in the author field, then the result will show the works authored by him. While the same search when executed in the title field, result will show the works on him. For example, a search was conducted on Library of Congress online catalog 
LCOC putting Sain Amrita as a search string and selected author creator field to be searched. Results given by the search engine will be list of seven documents when, when author or creator was searched. While it gave list of 157 documents when the title field was searched. Full text search is a search mechanism which conducts the search on each and every field of the database and extracts all those records which match with the query. This is the screenshot of the JNU library again, the library catalog. We have uh, put the Amrita Sen as the author and the title. This shows the full text search, the number of hits increased and is extracted all those records which has Tagore Rabindranath in its fields. Now coming to the truncation search. Truncation search is the search in which search is conducted in different forms from a word having the same common root. It is one of the most widely adopted method in information retrieval system. In this technique, root word is taken in the truncation mark and the search is conducted. This is the um, screenshot for the truncation search where we will put one word like education and it will find give us the, all the information on the education. For example, if we search India, then we put all the records will be retrieved where the term India appears on the full part of any word. The output will be listed like Indiana also, Indianization also. This is the screenshot for truncation search. Now coming to the proximity search, proximity search is a search technique which allows the searcher to define the distance between two words, two terms for, from each other, whether the two search terms should occur adjacent to each other or one or more words occur in between the search term or the search term should occur in the same paragraph irrespective of the intervening words. Like near operator, we say it N5, where finds the words if they are within the five words of one another. Then within operator is W, W8, finds the words if we are within eight words of from one another. Then is the limiting search. The limiting search technique is a search which limits the uh, string as per the architecture of the database and searches different terms of the same string in different fields. For example, we can say search by is limited by language or the type of the document or by the year also. Then we coming to the range search. Range search is a technique which allows the searcher to select records within certain data ranges. This technique is more suitable for numeric search data. The operators and their meaning differ from each search engine to search engine. The few operators which are commonly used in the range are greater than, lesser than, equal to, not equal to, greater than, equal to. These are all the examples where we can put, a, uh, I mean, not equal to 2000 year if we are putting a publication at 2000. So we will get the publications only after 2000 year. This is the range search. This is the screenshot for the range search. Simple search is such a technique where a searcher puts keywords in a simple format without understanding the behavior of the search engine or the architecture of the database or the impact of the operator and connectors. Almost all the search engines provide the facility of using simple search techniques. This is a quite simple uh, screenshot of the Google which everybody knows for the simple search. Then uh, we coming to the advanced search. Advanced search techniques is a technique through which a searcher searches the information using different fields to get the precise and the relevant information. In this technique, searcher creates search string using operators and parameters and provided by the search engine. This is the screenshot for the advanced search. By finally, we are reviewing the search results. The best reviewer of the search result is the user. The information professionals should also review the search results on the basis of the criteria given for evaluating information through retrieval systems. Edit search results. The editing of search results involves transformation of search results into user-friendly format. This may involve arranging the results into a well-organized package, highlighting the important entities, adding more information to the entities and reformatting of information to suit the users requirements. Evaluation and feedback. The evaluation of search results involves participation of both the users and the searchers. The quality and quantity of results are accessed and if needed the process may be redefined and restarted. If the final result does not satisfy the user needs, 
on the basis of the search process discussed, simple model can be given. Like uh, user, first uh, uh, thing is the user query, then locating the search engines, and then formulating the search query, query redefined process, then searching the search engine and locating the information, then coming to the user's decision on the result and managing retrieval results and feedback. What we have learned in this lesson is, we talked about information search, storage mechanism, that can be dictionary, numeric, classified arrangements of the information, types of searches and skills of conducting search, and then the steps of search process. So we come to end of this program. Thank you for watching the program.